morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, well, we've got the second lot of first part of the pack cards, which I am delighted about. And we're going to try try again with Shining Face. I don't know how many of you watched it. Uh, I did an opening the other day. Uh, it should have gone up on the channel by now. I assume these have gone up in the right order, which they should have. I'd like to think I'm all right at that kind of stuff by now. And it was a Dragapult V Max collection, the one with seven packs in, and it went poorly. So we're going to try again. Yay! And we're going to try it with a, with a Pikachu collection. Now, the reason we bought the Pikachu collection is we, we wanted these, right? Now, just off camera, we have got our, our little binder, the uh, Pokemon 25. Now, we got our Pikachu. And, you know, we picked up the last lot. We got the Grookey. And we got the, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. We got the score money and we got the Sobble. So I figured, well, you know, let, let's keep this collection going. I want all the oversized cards in here. Why would I not? Would seem a bit rude if I didn't. So we went and picked up the, the new pack. Now, when you go to Smith's, you have to spend over like 15 quid to get free delivery. So it's a good excuse to buy these cards. Although for the second time in a row, an... I've, I have finally learned now. They put these up and I ordered them. And then they made them free if you spend 25 quid. Cheers, Smiths. Now, in their defense, they don't actually have any kind of, you know, they don't have to do this. They don't have to offer them for free, I don't think. So it's just me being overly eager. I was worried about them selling out. Now, for anyone wondering, well, hang on a second, Wossy. Why didn't you know? Well... Oftentimes you see stuff like this where the first one is free and then they pay, charge you for the rest. Obviously now it seems like they're all going to be free if you spend 25 quid. But, and this is really important for anyone watching from the UK, if you find the deal really quickly, if you see them right as they go up, wait. For some reason, they tend to put them on the website before they activate the deal. They've done it two out of two now, which is actually super annoying. And I've fallen for it twice, and I'm a little bit annoyed. First time Smith's Blessing did give me a little bit of a gift card to say sorry, because they're rude to me on Twitter. And I appreciate that. Go Smith's. I like Smith's. They're a good store. But shall we say, my over-eagerness cost me. Never mind. Although, to be clear, fan of Smith's. Good people. Charge RRP. And honestly, customer service has actually been pretty good. I'm just way too eager. I am not going to fall for it again. Now watch as Kalos comes out and they sell out while I'm waiting for the deal to activate that never activates. Never mind. So we've got ourselves the Jumbo promos rolling on here. We have got ourselves a Rowlet. They are non-hollow cards, but you do see that the 25 logo is hollow. We've got ourselves a Litten. My daughter lately is loving Litten. And mostly because we read through Pokemon Twitter every evening. And she's been seeing Litten on it and loving it. She went into my room the other day. She found my Litten plush. It's no longer my Litten plush. I imported it from Japan when uh, Sun and Moon first launched. And I've now lost it. And then we've got Poplio. Poplio was always my choice in Gen 7. But I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Incineroar is by far the best of the Stage 2s. And... Litten's kind of cool. So I think next time I play through Gen 7, and I am playing through all the Pokemon games in line with my history video series on this channel, I think I'm probably going to go Litten. But that was just kind of the, the appetizer, the aperitif, so to speak. We need to open this Pikachu collection. Now we've got another Jumbo promo. And honestly, now they've made those binders that fit Jumbo promos, the one I showed you a moment ago, that one, I'm actually going to get a second copy of this because I've started... I've started putting my other jumbos just from opening the other day. And I have gotten most of the Sword and Shield jumbos. So I think I need to go and get all of them. Because they're not terribly expensive. And then have one binder with all the 25th anniversary promos. The first partners. And then one with just, you know, all the others. Because they have. They didn't do this for years. They have finally, finally made these jumbo promos with the advent of sword and shield they finally made them a uniform size and they've now given us a binder and everything although quick heads up these ash and Zamazenta jumbos that came out initially they came out really at the tail end of sun and moon not sword and shield so those are not the regular size but we do get our jumbo pikachu and a regular pikachu this they're fine i mean in the early game grabbing two energy and then turn two thunderbolt 
If your opponent's having a slow setup, that could be kind of fun. It's not the reason you buy the box. The Pikachu promo is cool, but bearing in mind so many of the other products which are available with Shining Fates will give you shiny promos like the Dragapult I just showed you. So as cool as Pikachu is, and it is, it's not quite like some of the other promos that this set will give you. But we've now got four packs, and frankly, the other day it went fairly poorly. Seven packs, we got one regular shiny, not a V or V Max. No full arts, rainbow rares, regular Vs, regular V Maxes, etc. And there are some money cards in this set. Full art Skylar, the rainbow Vs and V Maxes. Oh, sorry, the um, shiny Vs and V Max, especially Charizard. Uh, Suicune is actually a really popular one that is a just a regular shiny. Um, the gold Eternatus V and V Max. So there are some really good cards in this set. Let's hope this opening is slightly better. So we got ourselves a coughing and a Shinx and a Spinarak and a Buizel and a Cufont and an Energy and a Tropius and a Bull Guy. That was new in this set. There is a Luxio. Oh, that'll do, pig. I mean, the Hollow Feeble will take it or leave it. Firstly, it is a shiny. We like shiny cards. Secondly, it's Chinchino. I love Chinchino as a Pokemon. I loved the very first Chinchino from the black and white base set. That was in a load of my decks. But now, this one is one of my very, very favourite cards in the game right now. It is absolutely vital to my Excadrill deck that I've been playing for a long time. This is one of my... Honestly, after Excadrill, this is probably my second favourite card in terms of playability in the entire format. Oh, that is cool. That is one of those shinies. There are certain shinies you really want. Phalanx would be cool. Uh, Ducklet, I got my Ducklet. Thank you to the person that sent me that. That was very, very cool. But Chinchino is one of them. Chinchino is one of those shinies that I really genuinely wanted to open. So, I'll be honest with you, this is a lot cheaper than the Dragapult one we pulled the other day. And as much as I like Galarian Surfetched, we have already gotten a, a better opening than the one the other day. I'm not sure if I did the trick quite right. These might be out of order. So there's Buizel, there's a Grookey, there's a Qfon. I love that Snom. Best Snom, best artwork, new in this set. There's another Darkness Energy. Rotom was new in this set. I really like this. Searches for a couple of cards of Rotom in their name. A Rotom bite lets you draw till you've got six cards in hand. This is legit. Rusted Sword is a cool card. Thwacky was new in the set. Oh, Shiny Drizzle and a Hollow Indeedy. So both packs so far, we've had a Shiny and a Hollow. Drizzle again, cool card. My, my my first partner of choice in Gen 8 is Sobble. And I like this Drizzle. And it's got the really nice ability, lets you search for a trainer card. All right. Two packs down, two Shinies. Already a better box than the, the Crobat box. I might have said Dragonite a couple of times. I meant Crobat. I bought the Crobat one. Although I will buy the Dragonite one at some point. They're just not cheap. The up... I got Galarian Surfetched, and that was it. Shiny one from seven packs. Well, out of four packs, uh, sorry, out of two packs here, four total, two opened, we've already pulled two Shinies, including one of my very favourites. So, I'm already liking this more than the one the other day. Wouldn't mind opening some Vs and Vmaxes, mind you. But, ah, there's a Trapinch. Love me some Trapinch. There's a Yanma, Metal Energy, Cramorant. There's another one of those Rotom I like so much. Rusted Shield to go with Rusted Sword. Rev Hollow More Pico. And Boss's Orders Lysander. Alright. I mean, Boss's Orders Lysander is a good card. Boss's Orders is an absolute staple in, like, every deck. And, you know, yell at me in the comments, but Lysander is cooler than Giovanni. At least in my eyes. Not amazing, but we've had a couple of good packs, so it's hard to complain. So we've had a couple of hollows, but more importantly, we have had a couple of shinies. So, can we have three hits out of four packs? That would be really rather lovely. I would enjoy that. Uh, that is the trick. There we go. Chinchino, I mean, to be fair, it's a decent box. Love Chinchino, like Drizzle, love Chinchino. So let's hope we can get something cool going on here. And to be fair, we've still got the Pikachu as well, which is nice. Love me some Rowlet. There's another ball guy. That's a cool new card. 
Another Loxio. And top entry is a very cool ability. Get to put it straight on your bench as a stage one. Oh, Rev Hollow Nicket and Professor's Research Juniper. And to be fair, that goes nicely with the boss's orders, Lysander. Again, I like Juniper more than Magnolia. Though I don't think that is at all even remotely controversial. So, two good packs to begin. Two not very good packs to end. But at the end of the day, I got myself Shiny Drizzle and Shiny Chinchino. Along with my promo Pikachu. I'm calling that a win. Not an amazing opening. Not the best opening ever. Didn't hit any of the real money cards. But hitting two Shinies out of four packs, including the one I wanted the most now that I've opened a Ducklet. You know what? I didn't open a Ducklet. That's a lie. But some lovely person sent me a Ducklet. And I am very delighted. So you know what? It was better than the Crobat box, and I'm a happy boy. And we got the Jumbo Pikachu and all of that. And to be fair, we got these as well. So, all in all, I feel quite happy. I'm not all sad like after my opening the other day. Although, to be honest, I'm a cheery dude and I'm opening Pokemon cards. Sad is very much a relative term. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's over to you guys. Have you opened one of these Pikachu collections? What did you get? Did you love it? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then you know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye!